Amid the ups and downs in the crypto market, it is difficult to point out the factor that would give Cardano ADA the upper hand among other cryptocurrencies. Investors who perceived that the ecosystem's growth could drive it to become one of the largest cryptocurrencies gave it the title of an Ethereum killer. Ethereum killers come and go. None have been able to successfully defeat the second largest cryptocurrency. And it is quite apparent that Cardano ADA has nothing to justify this title. But perhaps we maybe need to look just beyond the surface. In the past, crypto winters occurred when the economy was in an overall better shape. Since Bitcoin's creation, the stock market enjoyed one of the most prolonged bull markets in history, but not anymore. This year, the stock market embraced bear market territory, and recession continues to loom as macroeconomic factors like inflation and rising interest rate suspend hopes for recovery. While the stock market and economy continue to struggle, it will be difficult for crypto to regain its previous highs. Investors should expect this crypto winter to be a little colder and longer than the previous ones. But why is it amid this ruckus that we choose to talk about a coin blowing up another? The crypto market is heavily bounded with an ever-increasing and zealous crypto audience, including investors and traders. It is really not hard to explain the reasons why many believe the cryptocurrency is a wealth creation platform. But the current bear market leaves too much to be desired, as several high-performing coins have lost steam. Bitcoin is under strict regulation, and increased interest rates by the US Federal Reserve could potentially affect Bitcoin in the long term. Plus, any uninventful situation on Wall Street could spell doom for Bitcoin and the entire crypto market. In the same way, Ethereum has recently switched to a cleaner and energy efficient protocol, proof of stake. So far, the switch is yet to offer a boost on its price action. And instead of heading to the skies after the launch of the Vassal Hard Fork, Cardano was sent to the 8th position by market capitalization. The coming days of the year could make or break these said cryptocurrencies. Irrespective of the bear market severity, crypto experts are confident that the coins will bounce back. In 2015, Ethereum was introduced as a blockchain platform, while Cardano was launched in 2017. Ethereum's proof-of-work blockchain has proven a track record given that to keep the blockchain functioning, miners perform many complex calculations. Similarly, Cardano's Ouroboros has a proof-of-stake consensus, where miners are replaced with validators. Right from its inception, Ethereum has evolved tremendously and is still seen as one of the most powerful cryptocurrencies. On the other hand, Cardano boasts of being the most secure digital asset due to its meticulous development. The ADA coin price has been on a downward trend, but its relative cheapness is making it an excellent investment option for investors. It appears to be a decent investment in the short to medium term. Beating moderately priced, it is likely to appreciate as the dApp market rises. It is difficult to tell which cryptocurrency will have a better chance of exploding. Both have had their ups and downs, and it is hard to anticipate whose value may fall or rise. But this does not evade the fact that Cardano is poised as an Ethereum killer. Ethereum killer has become the general term in the crypto world, with many coins being predicted to overtake Ethereum. Potential Ethereum killers have invaded the crypto space because Ethereum is not a perfect blockchain, with its high gas fees, low transaction rates, and gas scoping consensus method. Cardano is one of the latest to be predicted to overtake Ethereum due to its potential to solve many of the issues affecting its rival, thus explaining why scalability and efficiency are at the core of the project. Cardano's website describes itself as a decentralized third-generation proof-of-stake blockchain platform and home to the 88 cryptocurrency. It has been designed from the ground up by a team of top engineers and academic experts. Experts argue that the high gas fees, lack of scalability, and energy-intensive nature of Ethereum's network are holding it back. But these limitations are about to be suspended with the network's gradual transition to Ethereum 2.0. Although this transition is a time-consuming process and has been in the works for so many years now, it is safe to say that Cardano has become everything Ethereum is planning to be. The Cardano network strength lies in its stability, and that's because the network utilizes a peer review system. This is a big advantage since it will prevent glitches down the road. It has what it takes to catch up to Ethereum and surpass it. According to an article on Investor Place, the Cardano blockchain is a sleeping giant. It is built on peer-reviewed research and avoids the pitfalls of its predecessors. It has the potential to become more powerful than both Ethereum and Bitcoin. But nothing is given in the crypto world, and even the biggest investors who were sure that the main token will always be Bitcoin have found themselves in a radical shift. The crypto market has proved time and time again to be an unpredictable world. For instance, the collapse of the Terra Luna ecosystem. 
Many thought Luna had what it took to overtake Ethereum, but then it fell out of the top 100 coins overnight. If Ethereum continues to slip behind in its market cap, it is not only going to have problems overtaking Bitcoin, but it also means some of the currency's major competitors, including Cardano ADA, have a chance to overtake it as well. While Ethereum is only now adopting a proof-of-stake protocol, Cardano has already been there. This is going to be a setback on the coin, as it has fully not implemented something that its competitors have considered basic for a relatively long period. There could be a real chance for other cryptocurrencies like ADA to start taking Ethereum as investors start getting sick of it being outdated, compared to the next best competitors. Along with Cardano, we may see other cryptocurrencies start to catch up, but not everyone shares this opinion. The major argument is that while Cardano does come with peculiar advantages, it is still a lot less valuable than Ethereum. Elizabeth Hunker, an advisor at a blockchain firm, Decentranet, once said, Cardano is a ship on a rising blockchain and wider DLT tide, but its longevity or long-term moon potential is another thing altogether, and entirely dependent on if its ghost chain ecosystem, notably lack of dApps, come to life. However, the Cardano blockchain is getting closer to becoming a big boost to the crypto world. Network is about to see a large-scale deployment of its Layer 2 scaling solution, Hydra. Input Output Global recently released an update through a Twitter thread on its fully open-source peer-to-peer payment developer toolkit being developed in partnership with Obsidian Systems called Hydra for Payments. Hydrahead is the first in a suite of Hydra protocols that aim to increase network scalability. It is an L2 solution that works as an off-chain mini-ledger between small groups of participants, similar to the main on-chain ledger, but faster and more cost-efficient. With the update, IOG is bringing Hydrahead to Hydra for payments as the first protocol in a slew of Hydra protocols that aim to increase network scalability. Hydra heads are fast, scalable, isomorphic, and customizable. Its transactions and ledger rules are similar to that of the Cardano mainnet, which allows easy support by existing systems like dApps and wallets. This implementation will essentially introduce new use cases for the toolkit, including permitting developers to build features that will back bank-to-bank -bank transfers, pay-per-use API services, NFT auctions, and light wallet micropayments. According to previous reports, this development is targeted at bringing massive growth and adoption to Cardano's ecosystem. This is because Hydra can theoretically scale up the Cardano blockchain to reach 1 million transactions per second. Also, hundreds of engineers have once been reported to be working on projects in Cardano, especially towards the launch of the Vassal Hard Fork. In a YouTube video on April 12th, the Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson shared that his team was working on insanely aggressive timelines. The point is that it is difficult for an Ethereum killer of this configuration to fail in his promises. The crypto market has always expressed unwavering opinions when it comes to selecting the best coins. Their desires and choices are mainly influenced by hype, social media recognition, and the fear of missing out, or FOMO for short. The meme-based cryptocurrency Dogecoin is a vivid example. One thing is for certain, Cardano did not earn the title of a Ethereum killer with the sole influence of the ADA coin price. Its innovative attributes and good intentions are pivotal points worth consideration. Recently, BitBoy Crypto caused a Twitter stir when he shared his opinions of Cardano surpassing Ethereum by market capitalization. From a realistic perspective, he claimed that this could happen six years from now. This of course begs the question, what could happen to Cardano ADA in the space of six years for it to surpass the second largest cryptocurrency? But of course, what are your thoughts on this? Let us have them in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video, but before then, check out our other videos to find out how Gardana is living up to the dream of being the Ethereum killer. And as always, make sure you click on those subscribe notification buttons.